So today I'm going to be talking about our executive brief of a five-year strategic plan for Sunoco products. Our team consists of Nicole Giannini, Jordan Schnurman, Jarrett Wilson, and myself, Matthew Denunzio. So to start, the packaging and labeling services industry is expected to proliferate due to increased consumer spending, uh, decline in unemployment, and increased regulations surrounding pharmaceutical packaging. So some economic drivers that I'm going to highlight are an increase in e-commerce sales, corporate profits, increased demand from generic pharmaceutical and manufacturing products from food production. Sunoco can capitalize on these opportunities within their supply chain by reducing waste to mitigate negative externalities. And overall, we're predicting that this is going to reduce costs by 3%. COGS is going to reduce by 4% and within the five-year plan. Sunoco can promote its growth strategy and reduce waste within its facilities through increased emphasis on reducing the amount of rigid plastics used in its production facilities. And by designing a product and producing innovative packaging, Sunoco could take advantage of their investments through a new product design by reducing the amount of plastic used in the production facility. And again, related to this, COGS is going to be reduced about 4% in five years, which is a little over $2.9 million. In the United States, the packaging and labeling industry will see an exponential increase in demand for industry services as consumer spending continues to grow, unemployment will decrease, and an increase in regulation. And as I've been said before, the economic drivers are e-commerce sales, corporate profits, and increased demand for the general pharmaceutical and manufacturing products from the snack food production. The increased pre presence of e-commerce is expected to contribute and increase in opportunities in the future. These operators tend to minimize their physical footprints to improve their margins so contract packaging services can be used to limit facility use to their core operating activities. Packaging is also expected to become increasingly complex. This will be drive demand for the packaging and labeling services. Sunoco can utilize consumer data received in analytics to improve their market targeting. Food products will represent a steady source of demand for industry services over the next five years. Revenue for snack food production industry is expected to grow and annualized 3.4% over the next five years to 2024. And those are the years we're looking at for our five-year plan. On another note, the number of people over the age of 65, which are relatively more reliant on medical treatment than any other demographic, it's expected to continue to grow during the five-year period we're taking a look at, at an annualized rate of 3.2% which will result in an increase in regulations from the Drug Supply Chain Security Act and drive more outsourcing. Drug companies will also be investing in new products which are highly sensitive to environmental factors and are now new to the market. Sunoco can capitalize on these plethora of opportunities in the near future through successfully managing external contracts, specifically outsourcing contracts when necessary. Fluidity in the markets the company operates in will allow Sunoco to capitalize on these new opportunities as they present themselves, such as increased e-commerce. So now to move on to our strategic goals from an environmental uh, perspective. We're looking to spend more time towards reducing the carbon footprint of Sunoco, so reducing waste, reducing the amount of rigid plastics in manufacturing, as I mentioned in the introduction. The decreased amount of plastics in bottles, so investing in a new bottle with less plastic, but it has the same function as the bottle protection barrier they recently invested in. And lead to this will lead to a 4% savings in COGS because of all the minimized plastic, which will lead to a little over $2.9 million in savings. Another part would be sustainability in a growth apart, which is a part of the strategic plan over the next five years. Switching to 100% recycled materials should create value for consumers because they value saving the environment. Biodegradable materials. This will allow for whenever it's thrown out, it will not damage the environment, take years and years and years to decompose. This will also contribute to savings because we are saving the environment.
because we are using less new materials and more recycled materials. In the last part of our goals, we're looking at increasing the efficiency in manufacturing and processing. By reducing the time within the supply chain and the logistics department, we'll be able to reduce the transportation costs by broadening our locations of service departments. More departments that are closer to each other lead to, more, to less costs related to transportation. Overall, this is going to reduce uh, costs by 3% in the manufacturing department, which will be just over $2 million. So for our next step, what we're looking at is opening the idea of change from the executive level management needs to allow change to occur. We want Sunoco to be aware of the environmental impact that plastic has and what waste it creates in the environment. There needs to be a positive transition emphasis that all the changes that are being made are going to affect the company as well as the environment. Less plastic will mean less of a detriment to the environment as well as decreased cost in the manufacturing process. Now determining the steps in supply chain and logistics means that it will need to be improved and decided as a company what changes are going to be best to be made. So implementing them to help the company become more efficient will reduce costs. And minimizing the waste of materials and time is the overall picture that we're trying to look at. So we're trying to identify all the effects of the decisions, how the benefits will threaten the company or benefit the company, and how the decisions will affect the environment or threaten the environment. Sustainability is a big step many companies are emphasizing now, and we believe that it's a big step in the future of Sunoco that will benefit them in the future. So now we're going to take a look at the Performa. Over the next five years, we're looking at increase in sales, which is projected to be about 35% increase with the changes we're proposing and recommending. Now looking a little bit farther down in the performer, the expenses will decrease by 3% in manufacturing and the cost of goods sold will decrease in 4% as I went into earlier. The gross profit will grow almost 7 times in 5 years as a result of the recommended plan. Our SG&A will remain constant, but the earnings before interest and taxes will increase over 11 times in the next 5 years due to our strategic plan. Now just to summarize, we're looking at opportunities for cost of goods sold to be reduced. It's going to decrease our overall cost, save money for Sunoco. We're looking for profits to be increased as a result of being a more sustainable company and caring more about the environment. By reducing our carbon footprint, we're going to look better towards the consumers and we're going to benefit the environment and as well, we're going to make more money as a reduced materials. We're trying to create a more sustainable environment by reducing the amount of materials that we use, which will result in less waste in the environment. Now, by, and also by reducing the manufacturing and transportation costs, this is going to benefit our performer even more. Thank you very much for looking over our executive brief for Sunoco. We hope that you take into consideration our recommendations and our five-year strategic plan.